Hey guys, Michael Solo G here. Today we are going over the three best types of runs in this game and why they are so good. We're going to get started from the single back wing slot formation. We're going to go against this RPO strats from single back wing slots. RPO strats, you guys, are just so dominant in this game. It's honestly the best red zone offense you're going to get. And if you need a short yard situation, third and one, fourth and one, you got to move the chains. This is a great way to do it. As you can see, guys, it's just the pursuit from these DBs is terrible, and we're going to walk in for a touchdown. Um, RPO stretches, basically, both options are going to be open. Um, even if they run commit, it doesn't matter. It's just the pursuit from DBs on RPO stretches are so terrible, and the blocking is so good. I just love taking this to the outside, and as you can see right here, this safety from this nickel over formation is just not doing anything. Like, Ed Reed is just to the inside. As you can see, he's not really moving much at all, and we're just going to get in with a touchdown there. But as you can see, it's a very free three or four yards. The defense does a terrible job at shedding here. Um... It does a terrible, the pursuit angles are terrible. RPO stretches, guys, are just an absolute must-have. As you can see, I am just dominating with these RPO stretches. Um, you can run to either side, left or right, doesn't really matter. Um, the block is going to be great. Like I said, I love cutting this back to the outside. If they maybe use her to the outside, you want to cut it back to the inside, that's an option. But generally speaking, I love cutting this to the outside because the box is going to set up. And because of how bad the pursuit angles are, I can just, I can just outrun basically the DBs. The Bubble here is the option. One thing, too, with the bubble is that I really never, ever see it get picked. Um, as you see right there, the blocking is great. We walk in for a touchdown as well. Um, so maybe if they do a good job playing the run. If they're in default in line, I love throwing the bubble. Um, if they're in main line or baseline, it's kind of hard just because of the numbers and how the DBs play the bubble. But, like, right here, I'm throwing his bubble with confidence. And even right there, if he gets a shed, like that time Sherman shedded, that's okay. Like I said, the bubble is not... We are not throwing the bubble unless they absolutely find a way to bag this run. But basically, the bubble is just a safe ball that will never, ever, um, it will never, ever get picked off. It really won't. Um, I have never seen it get picked off. And like I said, if um, if we can get a couple yards off, it's great. If we can get a touchdown, great. But it's just really a secondary option. The primary option here on this RPO is going to be this stretch because as you can see right here the stretch has been a walk in the park pretty much every single time here with bo jackson i also love bo jackson here for our run game guys because he is by far the fastest card in the game he also falls forward quite a bit even though trucking the trucking move itself isn't really that good in the game um i still love uh bo jackson because he can spin he can juke he has a speed where he about running for him is going to be fine um but like he's just he really is like by far the best back in this game. He might arguably be the most important card in this game because of what he does in the passing game as well. But as you can see, I think there was like one time just now where I got stopped about in short. Outside that it has been walking the parks here for touchdowns. Um it's especially two guys in the red zone where it is super hard to score, right? Like it's and this is a, a real life football concept, this concept match before now as well. Passing plays are very hard in the red zone. When people play covers, there's just less room to manipulate zone and man. And yeah, and then with throw on the run also being very bad right now without a dead eye ability, um, it is it is really really hard to score in the red zone via passing. So running the ball like you will see pros, they will literally run RPO stretches, three four plays in a row down here. That's how overpowered these are right now, and that is um, how that kind of shows just how hard it is to pass down here. So, I, and personally for me. I am not hesitating. I am okay with doing this type of run in the red zone three times in a row because that is, quite frankly, the best red zone offense right now. Um, and the cool thing about this is it doesn't have to be from wing slot. It can be from other under center formations. I form a different single back, like a single back wing tight. Wing pair might be the best stretch in the game. Like right there, like that was the only time, by the way, that I've gotten shedded throughout this entire time. So like that just shows how consistent this truly is. But now, like, right there, obviously the block set up and we're in the end zone. Um, back to what I was saying, I think single back wing pair might specifically be the best um, RPO run stretch in the game. But all these other ones are really good, too. Uh, but um, this is from the, I'm currently in the Eagles playbook. So um, this one is found. So, like, if you're, and this is a very popular playbook right now. Um, so if this is your Eagles playbook, I love this wing slot stretch. Um, but really, single back, I form, doesn't matter. Find an RPO stretch to your game. And if you find the RPO stretch and then you utilize the bubble only as a secondary option, but you're really trying to run this rock here out of this RPO stretch, if you can do that um, to a T, you will really see, you will get not only seven instead of threes, but you will move chains and chew clock when you need to.
The next one I'm going to show you guys here is RPO Rebubble found in the Gunbuster on Nasty Formation. These are found in three really popular playbooks in the Colts, Eagles, and Jets offensive playbooks. I love this run because of the formation it is in. Gun Bun Strong Nasty or Gun Bun Strong is a very high powered formation. Mess Flat Spot, PA Bun Shot, and Wide Trail are all excellent passing plays from this formation that the defense has to respect. So you combine that with this RPO Read Bubble Run that is the best shotgun run in the, in the game for the same reasons that I've mentioned with the RPO Stretch and you really have given the defense a problem with this formation. I'm just going to show you guys this RPO Read Bubble right now. I'm just going to go against a, a nickel over here. Um, it's going to work for the same ideas that I was talking about. Um, again, the defense pursuit is just terrible from RPO runs right now. We have to take advantage of that as an offense and use RPO runs to the best of our ability. Right here with Bo Jackson, I'm going to get amazing blocking. And look, again, look how terrible the pursuit is. And because you combine that with Bo Jackson being 88 speed, and it is just going to be a walk in the park here for us. Um, as you can see, I am just absolutely having a field day right here. Also, another thing I want to mention too is um, for, uh, for running, Jukebox is an elite running ability, if you want to add that. Um, I also like running that brands for, for the passing game, but Jukebox will take your game to the next level. Also, I have free train on Bo Jackson as an X Factor. When that lights up, he automatically breaks the first tackle. Something that is nice to have. Um, probably the best X Factor ability on offense, I would say. Um, so I would recommend, it's definitely going to be one of the top three that you should have on your running back, um, if possible. But again, as you can see right here, that's RPO Rebubble. I'm having an absolute field day with it, getting a ton of yards. So you have this 20, 25 yard run that honestly is is I have super high power. We combine that with all the passing plays the defense has to account for. It's like how do you stop both? Um, and that it, it's just from such a good formation this run that it really is super super comp right now. Uh, and it is just like with how RPO runs are, guys. We simply like I said have to take advantage of them. It would be foolish for us not to. Um, and then also, maybe they, they stack numbers that side um, to the left here. We can still throw this bubble um, and still get some yards off it. Again, it's not going to be the sexiest throw. I'm not expecting to take this to the house. It's definitely not nearly as powered as running the ball here. But it's just if they play the numbers game and they really stack numbers to that side, etc., um, we can throw this bubble and we can get a couple yards. Like I said, I've never seen this bubble picked. So... It's really just a safety blanket if they fully send to this run. But another thing too, like I said, we have wide trail, we have um, PA bunch shot, and we have mess flat spot. Three amazing passing plays that I, that we can attack if they, for some reason, find defense for this. But like I said, this I'm only expecting to get two to three yards. That's fine. I'm just showing you guys that option in case they fully sell out to this run. Another thing that we can do here is simply take off for the quarterback, right? The D end right here is the Riki. If he fully sends to the running back, he's not going to get to him regardless. But if he fully sends to the running back, we can take off here with our quarterback as well. Boom, that D end full sends. I'm going to take my quarterback and just get a couple yards, right? Um, also want to slide as well. That's an example of what not to do because I'm on balance. My quarterback can't fumble in that situation. But again, D end takes off there. That's fine with me. I'm going to take off War Moon and get my couple of yards. So it really is a triple option run, which just shows the high poweredness to this play alone. But like I said, out of those three options, keeping with the quarterback, throwing the bubble, or running with our running back here, we're going to want to take the running back run all day long. Um, because like I said, that was the worst worst run right there, and that was three yards. Everything else has been six, seven yards plus. Um, so like I said, right here, we're back to our 10, 15 yards right there. Got to love that. It is such a good shot to run, like I said. With the passing plays with this, it's like you can't. If you, if you can mix in both of them, it's like, how do you stop it, right? Because you have the passing plays you have to respect as well. It really gives the defense a lot of problems. It is by far the best shocker run in this game, and it's not close. And that is exactly why it is in this video of the best run plays in the game. The last thing I want to show you guys right here is the one yard left situation, right? It's, it's third and goal from the one, third and goal from the two. What do you do to punch the ball in? I'm going to show you guys what I like to call the dolphin dive. This is called, like, it, Jimmy Graham was really a good card with this a couple minutes ago. It is back in Madden. I'm going to show you guys what it is and, and, and how to use it. So basically what I do is I like to come out in, like, an under center dive run play, right? And we're going to go against just any formation right here. I'm, I'm just going to basically just leap over this pile with Bo Jackson. There are times when you will get that jump, which is a little shallower, and there are times when you will literally have a 50-inch vertical and jump over the entire team for a touchdown. Um, both, and that's the that's what I'm talking about right there. You see how he jumps much higher that time compared to the first time? I'll show you guys it again. 
it's it really is RNG depending on which one you get. But like that's a perfect example. Right there, there is a D tackle in front of me. I simply press the A and X button on my Xbox controller at the same time, and it will give me this dolphin dive. I like to call it. It's not like I said, you get the shallower one. It's just kind of RNG in that sense on which one you're going to get. But the dolphin dive, guys, something when when let's say they play good RPO defense, or they, or you're just at the inch line and they're in goal line, you've got to find a way to punch it in. This is the best way to do so. Like I said. Sometimes you're going to get that dive, sometimes you're going to get the dolphin dive. Both are absolutely excellent. Um, excuse me, the dolphin dive is one, one you obviously want, um, but both are fine. You're not going to lose yards. It's just, this is just a one, two yards, short yard situation um, where if if you can get in the, it's just punching the ball in the end zone, right? Like in this game too, with how hard passing the ball is, like I said, in the goal line, you're going to want to find um running styles, right, whether it's the RPO stretch, the RPO dive, or this dolphin dive, you want to find different ways to run the ball. So if we can do that with this dolphin dive, we are going to absolutely take it. As you can see, it's kind of fun to watch, too. That time I didn't do it, but it's kind of fun to watch Bo Jackson just absolutely hurdle the entire football field. That's kind of fun to watch, too, but like you guys can see right here, um, right there he does it again. Um, like I said, pressing the A and X button here at the same time, um, just jumping over this that, that's a great example right there, just jumping over the entire line and getting our touchdown. So you guys here one more time. Boom. So with that being said, guys, if you guys found some running stuff that you can add to your game, whether it's the RPO stretch, the RPO bubble from Bud Strong, as well as Dolphin Dive to punch the ball in the end zone, consider checking out still GG. We're about full schemes. Use the highest level men. Link to this in the description. Use code GG at checkout for 20% off your next order.